Hi, everyone. Welcome to the show. I'm Tiffany, and I'm Sam. And Sam, I want to ask you a question. Yes. Who do you remember your first crush in high school? First crush in high school, or not even in high school, just like in school. It could be when you were in elementary school,、uh-huh. or middle school, or high school. Crush. I mean, I can't remember the first one because there's too many. Crushes, <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> But do you remember one that really like stuck out to you? No, not really, because I I am too shy.、Oh. I was too shy. I never、mm-hmm. try to tell them or yeah. I、Same、mean, everybody、thing. else can tell because I can't. I'm not really good at hiding my.、Mm, you know, but then you were just afraid to speak to that person yeah, and say, "Hey,、yeah. you know, I like you." <laughs>、oh, okay, so、uh, for me, I think one crush that I had. I remember my first one was probably in middle school.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I didn't talk to him too because he was, you know, like one of those popular boys,、uh. and he played football. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not really a cheerleader type of girl, so、yeah. never mind. <laughs> All right, so yeah,、um, today we're going to be talking about、um, crushes and、yes. things that you might see in school for、popular、our girls. <laughs> yeah, for our translation. So let's take a look together. Um, let's take a look at the sentence we need to translate. Okay, 马上呢来看到我们 Part A 的这个单句翻译哦。首先呢，我们看到第一句哦，他说，无疑的伊莎贝拉呢是我班上最受欢迎的女生。Oh, okay, who is that? Well, in English, <laughs> we can say there is no doubt that Isabella is the most popular girl in my class.、Mm-hmm. And of course, you can always change that around to there is no doubt that、uh, Sam is the most popular boy in, in our class. <laughs> Or in the in our school, or something like that, or in the office.、Mm-hmm. So you can always change these things around. But let's learn about the phrase. There is no doubt、um, that this phrase、uh, we use it to emphasize that you are very very certain about something, and you know for a fact that blah 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 is true. So for example, we can say there is no doubt that there is global warming. And when I say that, I mean that I am very very sure that there is global warming. Okay. Now, instead of saying there is no doubt, we can also replace it with without a doubt.、Um, it goes without saying. There is no denying that. Blah 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 blah. Okay. So, you 呢看到没有怀疑哦，我们就可以说 there is no doubt. Okay. 或者你也可以 without a doubt. Okay. 没有怀疑，这个非常确定，大家都这么认为的事情。那最怎么样呢？伊莎贝拉是我们班上最受欢迎，最怎么样？英文里面的形容词就有所谓最高级的用法啊、哦。最高级的用法呢，我们要形容一个东西。一个人，我们就可以这个 A B 的怎么样？后面加上这个最高级的形容词，那我们可以用 of 或是 among 或是 in， 后面再加上这个群体。这个句型呢，就可以用来表示说呢，这个 A 呢，它在这个群体里面之中是最怎么样的？比方说呢 ，Peter 呢是我们这个学校里面最高的人呢、哦。Peter is the tallest student in this school. OK， 那一样的意思呢，你也可以用比较级来表示哦。OK， 如果说我们说他比其他人都高，那呢他当然理所当然就是最高的。所以我们可以举例哦，刚刚的例子我们可以改写，我们可以说呢 ，Peter is taller than any other student in our school. OK， 他比我们学校里的其他学生都还要高。那呢，你也可以说呢，没有人比他高 ，OK？ 那一样呢，他是最高的。我们呢就说这个 no 后面呢加上这个单数或是复数名词，我们这个比较的东西，那后面加上 be 动词加上比较级加上 then a OK， 没有人比他高 ，OK？ 所以呢，我们可以说 no other student in our school is as tall as Peter，OK？、Okay? 或者是说 no other student in our school is taller than Peter，OK？、Okay? 没有人跟他一样高，或者是呢没有人比他高，我们呢也可以说。这个 as tall as Peter 跟 Peter 一样高，用这个 as 怎么样 as 怎么样，用原级的方法来讲，也是这个跟我们刚刚最高级是一样的用法。那特别要注意到句子里面呢，要不要加 other？ OK， 在于呢会不会比到自己。比方说呢，像我们刚刚的例句 ，Peter 呢自己是学生，那呢我们也是跟其他学生在比较。这个时候呢，我们就要加上 other， 表示说其他的学生呢 ，Peter 之外的其他学生都没有比他高，那他就是最高的。OK， 
Mm-hmm. Oh, and I can also say there is no doubt that Sam and I are awesome teachers. Yes, we are the best.、Okay? No <laughs> other teacher is better than this. <laughs> I know. There is no without a doubt.、Uh, all right, so let's continue taking a look at the next sentence.、Mm-hmm. Okay, 看到第二句哦，我们继续在讲这个班上最受欢迎的女生了。她说是怎么样呢？她是如此迷人又体贴，以至于呢，我的许多同学都迷恋她。Oh wow! I wonder what she looks like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in English we can say she is so attractive, and consider it that many of my classmates have a crush on her.、Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm pretty sure we know someone in our school or in your class、um, that's like them. Someone who's very, very charming. Someone that a lot of people really like. <laughs> Now, we can use.、Um, Uh, for example, this person or this thing is so, and then you can add an adjective to the end. And we use this kind of、um, way of saying things to emphasize or to point out、uh, a particular fact about something. So, for example, if I say he is so friendly, and that is why so many people love him, it means that we're using so to emphasize or to point out the fact that. This person, this he, is a very friendly person. We use it to kind of exaggerate things to say that yes, he is super, super, super friendly. We want to point out the fact that this person is really friendly. Now, instead of using so, you can also say such. For example, he is such a friendly person that people love to have him around, or he's such a nice guy. For example, so. Such and so,、um, they're both used to kind of exaggerate things to point out this particular、um, adjective or this particular characteristic about something or someone. 那后面呢，我们就讲说班上很多同学都迷恋他。迷恋谁呢？我们可以用这个单词 crush。crush 呢，它当做动词有很不一样的意思，它是压碎的意思、哦。比方说，我们可以说。呃、uh, ，Don't crush this box. OK， 不要压到这个箱子的哦。There are eggs inside. 那但是呢，当我们 crush， 像是我们例句这里呢，当做是这个名词来使用的时候呢，它的意思呢，我们中文就要翻译为迷恋哦。OK， 那那迷恋要怎么用呢？你可以 have a crush on somebody. OK， 表示呢，你迷恋这个人。OK， 那通常这个迷恋哦，像说我们例句里面的这个迷恋呢，通常是这个一时一乱亲密哦。表示说呢，你可能觉得很喜欢他，很喜欢，很觉得他很正，但是呢，这个不是不是真正的这个你已经跟他谈恋爱或怎么样。如果说你要说已经是谈恋爱陷入热恋了，你真的爱上他了，我们呢就可以说 fall in love。OK， 注意到我们这句词是 with somebody， fall in love with somebody， 表示呢你跟他之间呢已经认识了，已经在交往，已经陷入这个恋爱之中。那如果呢，我们可以讲说。说，如果说。跟刚刚这个 crush 比较像呢，你说对他有好感，觉得这个人哎哎很不错、哦，你可以讲说 have a thing for somebody。OK， 注意到我们每一个介系词都不一样， have a thing for somebody 表示对他有好感。那另外呢，我们也可以讲说暗恋什么人，暗恋什么人，秘密的喜欢他。我们可以说呢， be secretly in love with somebody。OK， 秘密的这个暗恋着他， Alice is secretly in love with John。OK， but she is too afraid to tell him。OK， Alice 呢，她这个暗恋 John， 但是呢，他太害怕了，他不敢跟他讲，怕被拒绝。OK。Mm, exactly. So, if you have a crush on somebody, and、um, let's say crush, remember again, it's just someone that you like.、Mm-hmm. Maybe you don't love them yet, but you don't want other people to know. So you can also say like, "Oh, you are a secret admirer of someone," and that just means the same thing. Be secretly in love with somebody. Okay, I can never be a secret admirer because、uh, yeah. you show it too often.、Yeah. <laughs> All right, it's okay. I'll 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 write everything down for you. <laughs> All right, so let's take a quick break. We'll be right back with Part B. Okay, welcome back to Part B. Again, we have some sentences that we are we're going to look at in Chinese and English.、So、let's take a look at the first one. Okay, 马上能看到我们 Part B 的单句翻译哦。他说呢 ，William 威廉呢对用英文发表演讲感到紧张，尽管呢他已经花了一个月的时间准备。
Mm. English says William feels nervous about giving a speech in English, even though he has spent a month preparing for it. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is maybe how a lot of you guys might feel if you have to speak all in English to somebody. You might feel nervous, even though maybe you、um, have good grades in English, or maybe even though you've studied. So here, even though just means although,、um, but, or despite the fact that. So, for example, when we use even though, this is just a way. To express, or it's used as a stronger way to say though or although. You really want to emphasize it. Okay, so for example, I can say even though the tickets to the show were expensive,、uh, it was worth seeing. Okay, so we're really pointing out something here. OK， 所以呢，在这边我们看到这个后半句，尽管他已经花了一个月的时间，尽管呢，你可以很简单，你可以讲说 although 或者是 though， 但是呢，在这边我们用 even though 更加去强调它，那你也可以换成另外一个这个片语哦，你可以说 despite the fact that OK the tickets to the show were expensive， 尽管呢这个票是很贵的，但是呢它是很值得去看的。那呢，他已经花了一个月的时间准备哦，从过去某个时间点持续到现在，一直还在做这个动作呢，或者一个状。这时候呢，我们注意到我们的这个动词的这个形式呢，就可以使用现在完成式。现在完成是可以用在什么地方呢？刚刚已经讲了，就是呢，从过去一个时间点到现在一直还在持续的动作或状态。那呢，你也可以哦，这个用在什么地方？比方说动作已经完成 ，OK， 刚刚完成。比方说呢 ，I have sent everyone the file，OK，、okay, 我刚刚呢已经把答案寄给大家了。Please look at it and ask me if you have any questions。OK， 请看一下，如果有什么问题呢，请跟我说。或者是呢，这个动作或者是状态已经持续一段时间了，到现在呢还在进行当中。或者我们可以举另外一个例子。我们可以说呢 ，OK. Rod has lived in Taiwan for five years. OK. 他这个罗德呢已经在台湾住了五年了，他可能还会继续住下去。所以，我们用现在完成式。那呢，这个现在完成式也可以用来表示你曾经有过，或者是呢，这个你还没有过，但是你很想要有这个经验。OK， 用来讲经验。比方说，我可以讲说，我去过什么地方呢 ？I have been to Japan three times and will continue to visit often. OK， 我去过日本三次了，但是呢，我还会继续常去造访。嗯、mm.。All right, so let's take a look at the next sentence. Okay, 那呢，这个他的老师给他什么建议呢？他的老师呢，以建议他应该呢对自己有信心，并不要担心犯错。嗯、mm. ，His teacher has suggested that he should be confident in himself and not worry about making mistakes. Okay, um, so here we see the word suggest. Suggest just means to give someone advice or tell them that, um, this is something that they should do. So th- we can also say, um, his teacher, um, has suggested or his teacher has recommended. Okay, this also means suggest as well. Or we can also use advise or propose. Um, there are other ways to tell someone to do something. Um, so for example, suggest, recommend, advise, propose is kind of like okay, you can try to take my advice or this is something that you. Should do, but、um, if you really want to force someone to do something, or you really want them to do this thing, then you would have to change it to order, or command, or demanded, or requested. Okay, so if his teacher suggested, it means that this person can listen to the advice and、um, take it in. But if we said his teacher has demanded he be confident in himself, it means that his teacher is kind of forcing him to be that way. So. These two,、um, these words have just different kind of meanings to it and different kinds of、um, suggestions as well. Okay, 那在这个句子里面，我刚刚 Tiffany 有补充了这个建议呢，你可以用这个，比方说像说 suggest 之外，你可以用 recommend advice， 或者是呢比较强烈一点，像说 order 或是 demand， 我要求你怎么样。那这边呢，跟大家说明一下这这这种动词的用法、哦。英文里面呢，像我们刚刚讲到这些，比方说 suggest advice， 或者是呢像是 insist 这种等等哦，这些它有这个表示哦，建议。坚持或是命令跟要求，当有这些意思的这个动词的时候呢，如果呢我们在后面接上 that 子句当做这个受词的时候呢，那这个 that 子句里面的动词变化，我们要特别注意，它呢要使用的是 should 加上原形动词。OK， 它的意思呢就是，比方说我建议你应该怎么做，或是呢我坚持你应该要这样做。所以呢我们在后面 that 子句里面，我们呢要加上这个 should 加上原形动词。那因为呢我们在这个前面已经，比方说我们刚刚讲。中文其实是一样的。我建议你应该怎么做，在这个句子里面，它已经有这个样的含义了。所以其实这个 should 呢是可以省略的，是可以省略的哦。所以注意到呢，省略了之后，我们呢直接使用的是原形动词。
Mm -hmm. And so the teacher suggested that you should be confident in yourself and not to worry about making a mistake. Now, a mistake is something that you do wrong. So we can say um, we can replace it: making mistakes, making errors, or um, not worry about it being your fault. Okay?、Um, there's a really fun word. Here, fault. Okay, when you do something by accident, but it causes something bad to happen, you can say, "Sorry,、um, it was my fault that I broke the glass," or "It was my fault that Gary is mad at you." So, fault is also something that you do wrong.、Um, but what if someone blames you for doing something wrong? You can also say, "Hey, it's not my fault that you couldn't finish your homework on time," or "It's not my fault my brother broke the vase." So, we can、um, replace mistake with error, but fault means. A different thing, and、um, a fault is more like a mistake, especially for which、um, you are to blame. So we can say, "I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. I'll try to make it up to you."、Um, if we want to use mistake and error, okay, this is just a more formal way of saying you did something wrong. It's mainly used when we are talking about like、um, when people make mistakes or when maybe technologies or computers make an error. So let's use error in a sentence. We can say. I'm sorry for the mistake in your pay. A computer error caused the problem. Okay, so a mistake is something that went wrong. A computer made a mistake and made an error. So here we use error because it's more like a technical thing and it caused a problem. All right, so let's take a quick break and we'll be right back with part C. Okay, welcome back to part C. Now, Sam, I know you like to play video games,、mm -hmm. but do you like to play board games? Um, not really, since I don't have many friends、What? to play board games with me. So <laughs> you just need four people, or some, there's also board games for two. Yeah, yeah, there are. But of course, you know, if you have more people,、um, the more fun it is. So I'm、yeah. pretty sure you can. Find, I'm, I'm here. I'll play board games with you.、Um, do you like puzzles, though? Puzzles? Um, no. It takes too much time. Me,、so. <laughs> well, I think it depends on the pieces, right?、If、yes. It's, yes. Maybe two hundred. Two hundred should be easy, <laughs> but if it's like a five thousand piece, mm. Mm, <laughs> I don't really like that as well because、okay. um, I don't like playing jigsaw puzzles, but、okay. you know physical puzzles. But I actually do like puzzle games,、mm -hmm. and、um, actually puzzle games are very good for you. Oh, really? Well, how 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 does it benefit you? Okay, well, we can learn a little bit more、mm -hmm. um, in our article for today because it's about jigsaw puzzles,、mm -hmm. and、um, a lot. I know that a lot of people love to complete jigsaw puzzles, and it's also a really fun way to pass the time. <laughs> yeah, so it says that puzzles are more than just fun; they're actually good for your health too. Okay, really. <laughs>、mm -hmm. And then here we let's take a look at our Chinese sentence, and then we'll look at it in English. Okay, so in our part C, this. 这个文章里面这个段落翻译哦，我们看到他在讨论这个 jigsaw puzzle。jigsaw 呢就是这个这个电锯哦，这个锯子。那所以把这个这个 puzzle 把这个拼图割开了，你就可以想到那个有凸出来一小块，有凹进去的这种拼图，就叫做 jigsaw puzzle。那这个拼拼这个拼图呢，对你的健康有益处是怎么样有益处呢？我们看到第一个要翻译的句子呢，他说那些经常拼拼图的人呢，很可能以一种有长期健康益处的方式，在强化他们的大脑。Mm. English just says those who often work or often work on jigsaw puzzles may well be strengthening their brains in a way that has a long that has long term health benefits. Okay, so yes, it's true.、Um, puzzles help kind of stimulate your brain, and there's a new research research that says that it helps you in the long run or helps you with long term health benefits.、But、let's take a look at、um, the grammar point. Those who first. Those who here refers to people or People who, for example,、um, we can also exchange with people who often work on jigsaw puzzles may well be strengthening their brains.、Mm -hmm. We can also say people who want to go on this theme park ride must be at least 140 centimeters tall. And this is just another way to say the people or people.、Um, you can also use anyone or whoever as well. But remember, people is、um, talking about more than one, so we need to make sure that we keep our Pronouns in the plural form. 
嗯哼，所以我们看到这个想要怎么样的人，这个的人呢，在我们的这个句子里面，我们就用的都是 who。那呢，刚刚 Tiffany 就讲到，你可以用 people who 或者是 anyone who 都可以来取代掉这个，我们可以来互相的代换。那那后面我们讲说，这些拼命的人很可能以一种这个长期的方式，在这个强化他们的大脑。那很可能我们英文怎么讲呢？在例句里面，我们是用了这个 may well。后面加上原形动词，那这个 may 呢，你也可以使用 might， might well 后面加上原形动词。那有 might 的话呢，是比较客气一点，感觉这个呃不是 may 的话就比较强烈一点，感觉机会大一点。那呢，除了 may well 或者是 might well 之外呢，你也可以用 likely， OK， likely 的句型我们应该怎么用？我们可以用主词加上 be likely to， OK， 或者是我们也可以说 it is likely that 后面加上这个呃一个名词短句，或者你也可以说 it is probable， OK， 这件事情是很可能发生。真的，举个例子了。I saw Karen and Steve holding hands in the park yesterday, so it's likely that they are dating. OK， 我昨天呢在公园看到凯伦和史蒂夫牵手，所以呢他们很可能正在约会。OK。那除我们刚刚讲的 likely， 或者是呢这个 probable， 或者是 may well 之外，你也可以使用 chance。chance 这个字呢，它是机会的意思。它的句它的句型呢，我们可以讲说 ，OK， the chances are that 后面再加上一个子句。OK， the chances 这个的呢可以省略 ，that 也可以省略。所以呢，我们刚刚讲说，我看到这个凯伦和史蒂夫牵手 ，the chances are that they are dating。OK， 这个很有机会呢，他们正在约会。Ooh, who is Karen Steve? <笑><笑> All right. Anyway, back to our article. It says so. Puzzle games or jigsaw puzzles. Okay, puzzle games and jigsaw puzzles are two different things.、Mm-hmm. Um, we're looking at jigsaw puzzles, but I think puzzles in general、um, are actually good for your brain, and、um, there are good health benefits. It says that's because puzzles can teach children about shapes and colors.、Mm-hmm. Plus, it helps with their motor skills. So, yes, it makes sense. Um, when you need to. Put together a puzzle. You have to、yeah. make sure everything fits, all the pieces fits, and it helps kids or children with their motor skills. Now, motor skills refer to how、um, you can reach and grab for things. So, this is like our physical movements. How can we hold a cup, for example, or how、mm-hmm. can we hold chopsticks, or how can we hold a pen? We're learning how to use our strength and to、um, use our fingers and stuff. OK， 所以呢，文章继续讲啊。他说这个这个拼拼图呢，它可以帮助小孩怎么样？首先，第一个是可以帮助他们辨认这个形状跟颜色，这很合理嘛，因为你要把它拼在一起。那比较特别的呢，是它可以帮助这个小孩子呢，是个小朋友来这个这个建造他们的这个 motor skills。motor skills 中文就可以翻译为运动技能。其实它讲的是你这个肢体协调能力哦。比方说你要拼拼图的时候，你要把这块放到另外一个拼图上面，这个你在手眼协调这个肢体协调，我们就可以讲出 motor skills。Mm-hmm. Next,、uh, we can say that jigsaw puzzles aren't just for children. Okay, they're all they are also good for adults too. <laughs> it helps keep the adult brain sharp and it stimulates both parts of our brain. And、mm-hmm. that's because our brain has two different parts, or scientifically has two different hemispheres: the left and the right、um, hemisphere of the brain. So when we use jigsaw puzzles, or when we do jigsaw puzzles, it helps use both parts of it. And we'll learn about it a little bit later. So it says. In Chinese. OK， 这边呢，第二个要翻译一句，他就讲说呢，我们大脑分成两边，成人呢玩这个拼图也很好，为什么呢？他说我们这个大脑两边是什么样两边？前者呢借由分析我们经历了什么来处理逻辑问题，而后者则与创造力有关。Mm-hmm. All right. So,、uh, in English, it says the former deals with logical problems by analyzing what we experience, while the latter is associated with creativity. Now, this phrase is kind of fun. You can say the former, blah blah blah. The latter, blah blah blah. Now, when you use this kind of phrase or this、um, this way of writing, it's to, the former is to talk about the first part of something, and the latter is to talk about the next part of something. So we can take a look at an example. Example、um, to make it more clear. For example, neither Evan nor Polly are suitable for this job. The former works too slowly. The latter is too careless. So the former is to talk about Evan because remember in the beginning part of the sentence we mentioned two people. We mentioned Evan and Polly. Now the former is talking about Evan, and then the latter is talking about Polly. 
。OK， 所以呢，看到我们如果在这个前面的文章已经讲过说，说、呃、啊，前面一个人，后面一个人，前面一个东西，后面一个东西，我们就可以用前者、后者，在文章里面呢，用 the former、the later， 这样在文章里面就可以避免一直用重复一样的字。那在这边呢，我们说前者跟什么有关，后者跟什么有关，这个有关的用法呢，在例句里我们就用了这个 be associated with。OK， 这个这个片语了。句型呢，我们就可以说 A。Be associated, associated, 或者是呢，你可以说 connected， 或者是呢 linked. OK， 有连接，有连接的 with B. OK， 它跟 A 跟 B 呢之间是有连接。注意到我们的介系词是用 with。那你也可以用 relate. OK, A be related to B. OK， 注意到这边是用 to. OK， 或者是呢，我们也可以用另外一个这个句型。我们可以说 A have something to do with. B OK A 和 B 之间呢，有一些什么东西表示 A 和 B 很有关系？那如果你要强调他们之间有很多很深的关系，你可以呢加上 much a lot 或者是 a great deal。OK A have much to do with B A have a lot to do with B OK A 跟 B 之间很有关联，很有关系。Mm-hmm. And that's really cool because、um, we learned that when we solve jigsaw puzzles, the left side of our brain looks at how the pieces fit together, and the right side sees the big picture. So it's cool to see how two different parts of our brains—they're doing two different jobs. But、mm-hmm. when we do one task, they kind of work together to. Yeah, you kind of work out both sides of your brain. Exactly, and they said that when both parts of the brain are active, it builds a connection between them and individual brain cells.、Mm-hmm. And the more connections we build. Between these two parts, the brain becomes stronger and stronger. So, how does this benefit you? Get smarter, or <laughs>、um, I, I guess so. And it、yeah. also helps your brain stay healthy,、mm-hmm. and it prevents you from getting、um, memory diseases,、ah, or、okay. you know, things like memory loss or dementia or Alzheimer's disease. So,、mm. you know, it's kind of hard to、um, stop these things, especially when we get older. But what you can do is you can still exercise your brain、yeah. to make sure that you know it stays healthy. The older you get, yeah, sounds like I should start playing jigsaw puzzles. Yeah, we should play together. It's <laughs>、yeah. not so childish or immature.、Um, I think even playing games like、um, Tetris. I love Tetris.、Mm-hmm. Um, they're also really good for your brain as、uh, well.、Yes. So any kind of puzzle game, it doesn't have to be a jigsaw puzzle, but it can also be something you know, video games or smartphone、yeah. games. Anything that has like completing a puzzle, I think it's good for you. All right, so let's take a quick break, and we'll be right back. Unit Eight Translation October Twelfth. There is no doubt that Isabella is the most popular girl in my class. She is so attractive and considerate that many of my classmates have a crush on her. William feels nervous about giving a speech in English, even though he has spent a month preparing for it. His teacher has suggested that he should be confident in himself. And not worry about making mistakes. Many people love completing jigsaw puzzles and see them as a fun way to pass the time. However, studies show that such puzzles may be more than just entertainment. Those who often work on jigsaw puzzles may well be strengthening their brains in a way that has long-term health benefits. Puzzles can teach children about shapes and colors, as well as improve their motor skills. Adults don't need this practice, but doing jigsaw puzzles helps keep their brain sharp. That's because these puzzles stimulate both parts of our brains at once. Our brain has two hemispheres: the left and the right. The former deals with logical problems by analyzing what we experience, while the latter is associated with creativity. When we do a jigsaw puzzle, the left side of our brain looks at how the pieces fit together. The right side, meanwhile, can see the big picture. When both sides are active, connections are built between them, as well as between individual brain cells. The more connections our brain has, the stronger it is. Thus, it's better able to resist health issues such as memory loss, dementia, and Alzheimer's disease. 
All right, so we hope you guys enjoy the article. That's all the time that we have for today,、um, but we'll see you guys very soon. Bye. Bye.